examination of the nasal cavity. First, we have to inspect the external nose. We should check the shape of the nose, whether there is any deviation uh, due to previous trauma or an urgent uh, fracture. Uh, we should check uh, the deviation to the side, uh, previous surgical sequelae such as saddle nose deformity. Also, there might be some cancers, tumors or mass lesions besides infections abscesses or cancers or post-surgical sequelae. After we inspected the external nose, we should check also the entrance of the nas nose, the nasal vestibule. Normally, the tip of the nose should be lifted in order to check the nasal vestibule. There lie some hairs and glands that might be swollen or infected and causing folliculitis. Afterwards, we should palpate the nose, especially the nasal bridge, the bony part, which is the superior one third of the nasal bridge. The mobility, pain or crepitation would be the sign of a nasal fracture. Sometimes it is very obvious that the nose is fractured but we can do an x-ray to be sure. On the x-ray you can see the fractured nasal bones clearly. After we inspected the nasal cavity and checked the entrance of the uh, nose, we should take the nasal speculum or a pseudicle to uh, examine the nasal cavity the correct uh, grip of the nasal speculum you can see on the video. You put it in the palm of your hand. The speculum's arm should look downwards. Uh, with your index finger, you should hold uh, the arm of the nasal speculum with the rest of the fingers. You would control the opening of the nasal speculum and Afterwards, you should introduce the arms of the nasal speculum into the nasal vestibule. Meanwhile, you should secure the patient's head either at the neck or on the top of the head. The arms of the speculum should be placed into the nasal cavity parallel to the nasal septum. Not too deep, but until the skin folds into the vestibule and slowly opening it up and lifting it up would provide a very good view to the nasal cavity. We should be careful not to introduce the nasal speculum too deep as the tip of the speculum reaches the mucosa would cause pain for the patient either at the side of the septum or at the side of the lateral nasal cavity. So parallel insertion and lifting it up, opening the speculum provides a good view. Tilting the patient's head, we would see the nasal floor, the nasal roof, medially the nasal septum and laterally the uh, inferior nasal turbinate in an optimal uh, anatomy, one should be able to examine the middle turbinate. In a normal anatomy with no previous surgeries, uh, the superior nasal turbinate is never visible by this type of examination. After checking the anatomy, we should also ask the patient to say a word with a K, like a Coca-Cola or similar. In this uh, type, in this case, uh, the soft palate would move and the li our light would reflex and bounce back from the soft palate movement. This is a sign 
for us to be sure that the entire nasal cavity was examined as the very posterior part of the nasal cavity is the soft palate. When we remove the nasal speculum, we should keep the arms open. In case we close it into in the nasal cavity and pull it out, we would epilate uh, the patient's nasal vestibule, which causes pain for the patient. So examining the nasal cavity, saying a K word and then remove it open. We should also check the other side. We can use the same hands, but usually uh, we change hands and we check the patient's right nasal cavity uh, using our nasal speculum in our left hand. Uh, you can see the correct hold or grip of the nasal speculum on the video. We put the arms of the nasal speculum into the nasal cavity. Uh, we secure our hands and check the nasal cavity, look for nasal polyps, mucus production or melanomas or cancers. We again ask the patients to say a word with a K so we can see in the very back of the nose the soft palate movement. This ensures us that we could examine the entire nasal cavity. Thank you for your attention.